So, so you check to see what pest you have. If you, yes. And or do you do all these medicines? I mean, you're talking about jars of like three things, multiple, right? Varroa mites you definitely check for. The uh, American and um, European fowl brood, the only way you're going to be able to see that you have that, is look at your, your uh, pattern of your brood. If the caps are very brown and sunken, then take a little, um, your little scratcher or uh, something and pick off that cap. Now use some very disgusting language, but <clears throat> you get kind of a snotty thing coming out. Then you want to start treating for your American and European fowl. So when that round stringy thing comes out, you know, when you take the uh, cap off, then you know you've got the, the fall bird. Then you want to treat it. Okay? But I, I guess I was asking, so if you have to treat for everything, uh, is that likely even? I mean, do you have to treat for everything? Do you space out your medicine jars that you're putting in? Or do you I put them all at the once? you could use them together. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. And, uh, because you're treating different things, and I don't think it's that harmful to the bees. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Treating with too many medicines at one time usually does affect them, but I don't like that. <laughs> when you do your spearmint mix, when and how often are you doing that? With the spearmint? Yeah. Uh, that, <clears throat> do you want the mix again? No, I wrote down the okay. mix that, but uh, when and how often are you? Put it on and leave it on until they don't take the, the syrup any longer in the spring. Okay. I'm sorry, in the fall. In the okay. Fall. Yeah. In the spring, <clears throat> you can put it on the, the um, put the spearmint in the honey or, or water. Sorry. Okay. Uh, spearmint in the um, sugar syrup and mix it the same way. And but um, in the spring you take it off before honey flow. Sure. In the fall, put Just it in until they stop quit taking it. Because they didn't get rid of. Right. Make it smell nice too. <laughs> so every time you feed them, until they, every time you feed them, until you, they. Quit yeah, when they them. when they use up the the syrup, make sure that you have some more there. So honey. you're making the syrup with not a sugar water. You're making it with honey. You can use sugar water. Uh, when I said honey, I yeah. use I use honey. Okay. Uh, I've had plenty of extra honey. Uh -huh. that I wouldn't feed the humans, but I. Okay, and if you bees. didn't, you would substitute. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's just. That okay. Otherwise, you could substitute. You could put that much in the. Twenty-two drops in. Uh, if you're using syrup, make your uh, two-thirds, two to one. one-third, uh -huh. and then same twenty-two drops to the pint. To a pint. Yeah, and then uh, with that, you could, you don't have to put the other pint of water. You put the syrup in there. Okay. So you just twenty-two. Uh, it, it's really twenty-two drops per quart. 22 drops per quart. Okay. Well, okay. honey, you, you have to dilute it a little bit because sure. the bees just, it won't come out of the jar and it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it's just too thick. <laughs> per, per quart, 22 right. drops per But with quart. the, the um, syrup, you've got then about 66% uh, sugar and 33% okay. water, so you know, uh, it, it will come out, okay? Is that? That's better, that yes. Yeah. So you can, you can use that experiment with, with syrup. Okay. 